Hi, my name is Chris Hughes and I'm using a combination of ZBrush and Maya to produce some 3D illustrations and animations for characters and situations and scenes in my science fiction book Space Chef and the Great Gorgonzola. I'm relatively new to both ZBrush and Maya and there have been a number of issues that have wasted a lot of time trying to resolve um, and I thought it would be useful to do a tutorial that might help some other people uh, to get past this. One of the issues is the fact that uh, when you're transferring meshes between ZBrush and Maya using object or OBJ files, um, sometimes these files come into ZBrush at the wrong size and I noticed that there are a number of people on the forums that have uh, commented on this. I found a way that um, I can avoid that from happening and there's also some issues with uh, retopology where um, I've been using Z spheres and the new rigging and topology uh, menu in release 4.4 um, and all of a sudden I was finding that I couldn't edit or move uh, points that I'd created and uh, that's a relatively simple um, solution. Also um, uh, there were some issues with projecting the high resolution mesh on to a low resolution mesh. So those are the three issues I thought uh, is worth worth going through. So we'll start now. This is the Great Gorgonzola, uh, one of the characters, or well, the main character, one of the main characters from the book. Um, I've spent a lot of time retopologizing him as well, and I've done most of the sculpting, but I found a couple of errors, and I thought while I'm fixing those up, it might be worth uh, or useful for people to see um, me illustrate some of the problems and then go through the solutions. So if we have a look at him, he's um, uh, reasonably close to being finished. I've still got a few more details um, that I want to put in the sculpture and then I need to create uh, UVs um, and seams and then do some poly painting and texturing but uh, he's coming along. If you look at poly painting, um, shift F, um, you'll see that uh, the Great Gorgonzola is made up of a Bane body mesh, um, um, teeth, and a couple of eyes and a tongue. Um, and you can see that the, the Dynamesh that I originally made him in has been retopologized. Um, if I take it down to the lower subdivision level, you can see that um, it, it's reasonably close. Uh, well, I'm reasonably happy with that. There's a couple of things like on the arms, there's some twisting of some polygons, and um, I had done some work in um, uh, Maya where I'd added some edge loops to his right eye but I haven't done it to the left eye so um, what I did was export um, using GoZ um, to Maya um, cut the model in half, duplicated it across um, to get the right number of edge loops on both sides, merged the vertices um, and then brought it back in but I found that what was happening um, was that it was only bringing in half the model. Somehow uh, GoZ and ZBrush had got confused and didn't recognize that there was a, another half of the model that was the same as before. So I thought, well, the way around that is to export from Maya as a, uh, the mesh as an OBJ file, bring that in, um, import it into ZBrush as a tool, and then use that as a reference. Unfortunately, when I did that, uh, it came in at the wrong scale. And uh, I suppose the best way to do that is to illustrate it. What I'm going to do first is just take the, the main model back to its highest um, subdivision level and I'll just frame it in the um, image. Now, there are a couple of problems that I had. The first was that um, if I was going to load the tool, um, so import the um, OBJ file, either of two things would happen. It would either ask me did I want to re-import the higher resolution imagery, in which case it brought in half the model, or um, it would do this. And the file, the OBJ would come in much too small. And because I had the um, the Great Gorgonzola tool with its subs tool selected, it actually replaced the, the file and I lost the high resolution detail. Um, so the first thing to do is uh, to bring in the mesh as a tool without it having to replace that. The way to do that is follows. I'm just going to reload, reopen the file. Um, and
Okay, what I've done is reopen the ZBrush project, um, and now what I want to do is import the OBJ mesh, but not have it replace any of the other elements. The way I've found to do that is just to select something else um, that's quite um, different. Now, so I've just selected the Poly Mesh 3D, doesn't matter what it was. Now, if I import the um, OBJ mesh and bring it in, it comes in, and I've still got the uh, high resolution model with all its bits and pieces um, as a separate tool. So low resolution mesh, high resolution mesh. As you can see, there seems to be a difference in size, which is what we saw before. So um, the way to the way I found to get around that is to if I append the file that I brought in into the subtool, ZBrush seems to make the connection that they're similar um, uh, pieces of geometry and it should scale them appropriately. So if I take, um, make sure I've got the select, the uh, file selected, that's the, the main tool, and then uh, the main Great Gorgonzola with all its subtools, and I append, and I append the new mesh, as you can see, it's now brought that in as um, the right size. And I can click between the, the two, um, and the problem has been solved. Now, one of the things that I was finding is if I try and use the Z uh, sphere rigging and retopology using these subtools inside the mesh, um, I was having some trouble with um, making adaptive skins. So again, the solution is to now take these files out of the main tool and make them into separate tool meshes and then use that with a Z sphere to, to do the retopology. And that allows me to make adaptive skins and not have any problems like I was having before. Um, the way to do that is, first of all, I might delete uh, the smaller mesh that I don't need anymore. That's not part of the, the main file. And then what I'm going to do is select um, the low resolution mesh and go up to the tool palette and clone. And then I'm going to select the high resolution mesh and clone that. So now what we have is um, the big model, uh, the main model with all its components. We've got the low resolution tool and a high resolution tool with all the subdivisions. The first thing I'm going to do is delete the lower subdivisions um, from the geometry um, from the high resolution one because we don't need that. Um, uh, and now you can see that it's just one mesh of um, lots of little squares. I'll just turn off polyframe so that you can see it. Um, and we've got the low resolution mesh. In part two, I'll show you how to set up retopology using Z-spheres and then how to project the high resolution detail onto the low resolution mesh. See you then.